Hi, good morning. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I wake up in the morning with something stuck in my head. It can be a melody, it can be a chord progression. I don't know what it is, but I wake up with chord progressions in my head like often. <laughs> Maybe I should see a doctor. <laughs> but yeah, it's just stuck in my head. I gotta figure it out. I literally can't do anything else until I sort this out. So let's do it. <laughs> So for people that have been around the channel for a minute, you guys might remember that I used to make a lot more music that was sample based. I used to just love going on YouTube looking for like vintage samples and stuff like that and then flipping them, making the craziest beats. I used to be a sample based producer for the most part. Since the channel has been growing though and I've been accumulating some different experiences, I realized that copyright is a big issue. Like if I do that, if I were to do that, my videos would get demonetized, possibly taken down, my music wouldn't be able to go anywhere. It would just be a big pain in the end. And while on one hand I totally understand why copyright law is necessary and it's very important, on the other hand I really hate the fact that it limits my creativity, that my creativity, my art, the thing that I care about the most in this world gets limited by a law. It just feels weird. So all that to say that I've been on a mission in the past few months, you guys have seen me transition to more traditional instruments. The reason why is because I want to learn how to make vintage, realistic vintage melodies that sound like samples but are not samples. So I think that's exactly what we're gonna do with this one. We're gonna finish it right now. We're gonna try to make it sound as vintage, as real as possible. And then we're gonna flip it, treat it like it was a sample from somebody else and just make something else. All right, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna record a little vocal melody on my phone. I'm gonna airdrop it to the computer. We're gonna throw it in there. This is gonna be crazy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pitch it up an octave, then I wanna pull up auto-tune. Hey! That's fire. <laughs> Let me just give a quick shout out to Cymatics. This is their newest plugin, Pluto. Basically what Pluto is, is a multi-effects plugin specifically designed for melodies. You have four main elements. The first one is like wow, flutter, which kind of creates that like vintage tone. The second one is a modulator. Then you have delay and you have reverb. It's really, really great. It's got a really warm tone to it and you can do a lot of different things just using the presets or messing around with the knobs. This is the third plugin that Cymatics has put out so far and I think this might be my favorite one yet. I really feel like this plugin works at its best when you're trying to create that vintage vintage tone but it also sounds modern at the same time. Like it sounds like it's coming from somewhere in the past but it also sounds like it came out in 2021 at the same time. I feel like this plugin achieves that perfect. If you're interested in it, the link is at the top of the description. I highly recommend checking it out. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, that's perfect. Let's do drums. I 
like it's almost there. That's such a good vibe. The one thing that it's missing for sure right now, it's low end. So let's do bass. Crazy. I wasn't recording though. I hope I remember it. Oof, that's fire. <laughs> I honestly feel like it's pretty much there. The only thing that I want to add, it's a lead. Enjoy the final beat and remember to be positive and positive things will happen.